NBA's College Football 25, along with PGA Tour 24, 2K is no longer sitting at the top of an unreachable throne. Mm. EA proved that they can still create good sports games, as crazy mm -hmm. as that might have sounded within the last decade. Thanks. NBA 2K seemed like it was starting to stagnate until 2K23 brought back some hope with the excellent addition of My Eras, a new feature within My NBA. That's Cat. What does he talk about? Bro, you bro, you know he gotta be outside the community. He said My NBA Eras brought back some life to 2K. What the? Bro, people live in like a different reality when they're not like, you know? He be making like reviews of all games, so it's not even his fault. He don't really know. Nah, he don't really know. He be making some uh, decent videos. I found him uh, like a while ago. I seen a couple of his vids. Yeah, the game's franchise mode, which allowed users to jump into a past decade of their- Oh wait, hold on. Music in my ear. 350 bench is achievable for most people? No, it's not, bro. They're choosing and relive or change NBA history with official draft classes for every year, along with accurate logos, uniforms, arenas, rules, and league structure for each season. Even the in-game presentation changed depending on the decade, with the visual quality and broadcast packages changing to reflect their era. NBA 2K23 was a game I enjoyed, despite me finding 2K18-22 quite underwhelming. And See, look, look, this is a casual. This guy's a complete casual, right? Listen to what he's saying. Think, think, guys, think, mother, think. This is a complete casual. I guarantee you he'd be like, I want realistic basketball. Just like the rest of them, right? The normal NBA fan. But why do they say 18, 2K18 through 2K now? Why do they say, man, I don't like these no more? But then they say the 2Ks before then, they say them was the arcade ones weren't they were the more realistic ones feel me but why would someone who likes simulation and he complete casual why would he enjoy those 2ks more than the newer two think people gotta wake up all casuals find the golden era the best you feel me almost all casuals until that point, very few new features were added to the game each year, while microtransactions and in-game costs increased. I was mm -hmm. hoping 2K23 would be a turning point, but last year's title, NBA 2K24, was barely any different from 2K23, mm -hmm. with some tiny updates to my eras in a more monetized game than ever before. Mm -hmm. The auction house in my team was ruined, and a new <laughs> battle pass was added, which gives players exclusive cards and items only available through that pass. Yep. That's a pretty decent jump from where we were. Previously, you would pay $70 for the base game, and while you could pay more money for VC for my career and my team, you could at least unlock everything the game had to offer with enough grinding. Starting with 2K24, do that so well. there are now items, some including my team player cards, that can only be unlocked by purchasing the pass. Damn. $70 alone can no longer buy you everything they doing you have bad, to offer, man. no matter how hard you grind. <laughs> only the sports gaming genre can get away with such aggressive monetization tactics. Yep. On top of that, have you noticed the declining graphics of NBA 2K? Mm. Every year we hear about how good 2K's graphics are. Guys, this is a casual saying this, right? Think, man. A lot of people think this, man. Isn't that crazy? And some will make comments like, all 2K focuses on is graphics, never the gameplay. Well, I think graphics have actually regressed over the years. You hear them? worse. NBA 2K24 takes up over 100 gigabytes. Yes, mm. way too much space. But Facts. why is that? It's because the game is built upon all the previous 2Ks that came before it. And there's a ton of unused assets hidden in- Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? The reason 2K take up so many gigabytes. Bro, when I downloaded NCAA, I think that whole was 2K way more. He's saying that 2K keep building on what they building on. That's why it take up so many gigs. Think about it. Why do you think every year when the new game come out, it's the same glitch that they got to refix again? Think about it. Like the double dribble, sh it's the same. Sh it be the same sh every year. How how if they patch it in one year, it come back in the new year the same way? Think about it, man. Think about it. inside the code taking up space on your console. Because 2K isn't built from the ground up, it still faces legacy limitations, especially when it comes to available memory for things like graphics. In order to keep the Ooh, do y'all hear that? He's saying, see, I ain't, I ain't on his nerd level, right? He's saying, based off the gig and the memory and all this and that, he's saying they don't got the extra memory to upgrade the graphics. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever heard this. Y'all ever heard this? Code taking up space on your console for it. But why is that? Y'all ever it's heard this? It's because the game is built upon all the previous 2Ks that came before it. And there's a ton of unused assets hidden inside the code taking uh -huh. up space on your console. Because 2K isn't built from the ground up, it still faces legacy limitations, uh -huh. especially when it comes to available memory for things like graphics available memory for things like graphics damn 
I don't think I've ever heard this sh Is he talking facts? In order to keep the massive, bloated, and ugly city in the game, <laughs> the game's visuals have to suffer. And look, this is a casual. This is a casual. He hate the city. I'll be trying to tell you. But look, look, listen to what he's saying. He's saying in order to maintain the city, they got a regress in the graphics. Is this why the golden era looked better? Why they had way better lighting and textures? I never, I never thought of this. He cooking him. Overall, to keep the city in the game, things like court reflections and lighting are much worse than they should be. This court reflections and lightings. That's what he talking about when he talking. That that's what a lot of people be talking about when they be talking about the graphics, y'all. If you don't know, they're not talking about the damn player model, how it's structured to look a certain way. They talking about the real shit matters when you're playing the game you can't damn see the damn player model we talking about you see the back of the jersey the court the texture the color all that type of shit. talking about that type of shit. that's interesting this is why games like nba live 19 appear to have better looking hardwood mm. or why nba 2k 14 appears to have more jersey like look look at this guys jersey physics and better lighting this is 14 guys like don't this shit look cool 2K is being held back by the city in the game's overall bloat, mm -hmm. which was impressive back in 2020, but now it, it was never impressive. You was in the community, you know, we never liked it. We never like, we didn't like it in 21. Maybe as an outsider looking in, like you play, be playing my NBA era, it's like, oh, cool, they have a city. No, the community never liked that sh at all. We, we did not play. Nowadays, I think people just want to get back to the actual basket. Yes. The focus of NBA 2K should be on the NBA aspects of the game, yes. not unnecessary fluff like the city that yes. exists solely to justify the increasing amount of microtransactions. Yes. Why would you need to buy VC to buy a virtual scooter to get around a virtual city <laughs> if there wasn't a virtual city in the first place? The get shareholders. Them niggas, get them niggas. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you hear what he said? He said. Why would you have to buy a virtual scooter to get around a virtual? Wait, what, what did he say? Oh my God, that's hilarious, bro. Being held back by the city in the game's <laughs> overall bloat, which was impressive back in 2020, <laughs> but nowadays I think people just want to get back to the actual basketball. The focus of NBA 2K <laughs> should be on the NBA aspects of the game, oh, not unnecessary man. fluff like the city that exists solely to justify the increasing amount of microtransactions. To justify microtransactions, you see, he getting into the, they can't keep giving us vehicle rewards if we don't need a vehicle. Think about it. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Why would you need to buy VC to buy a virtual scooter to get around? How would you need to buy VC to buy a v virtual scooter to get around a virtual city? It didn't exist. Think about it. ...around a virtual city if there wasn't a virtual city in the first place. <laughs> the shareholders of Take-Two Interactive seem to have more control over the game than the actual developers. 2K's glory days <sighs> appear to be in the past. I don't believe anything Back. substantial is changing with NBA 2K25, so I'm expecting to be disappointed. Let's go over what's been announced. Nito! Nito, thank, thanks for the sub, man. Welcome back to the Real Academy, my boy. 2K makes the game for whales, the people that like throwing money away at video games. That is definitely facts. So far. First, we have the cover with Jason Tatum. What's with the blur on the left and right? I miss the old 2K covers with the red theme and the interesting artwork. This is just an image of Tatum with a logo slapped over it. Perhaps this is just how modern style- No, they did not. Why don't they just tell us the exact day? I don't- Book of update? Oh, Moses. The updated swan. Facts, Adrian. How old are you? Creek, thanks for the follow. Exactly, Bell. Bell, what a lot of people don't understand is uh, black people are only like, what, 10, 12% of America? We're majority population in the world, but we're only 10, like 10% in America. But I mean, bro, I heard a, uh, another statistic that said that 80% of people that consume hip hop are white people. Did you know that? That's crazy. Maybe, maybe that statistic's wrong. Maybe I heard it wrong. I didn't fact check it or nothing. But not everyone who buys 2K is uh, black, bro. I ain't gonna hold it. It's majority of uh, white people. I ain't gonna. Geechee, thanks for the follow. I know I think everybody who buys 2K is black. <laughs> I would love to know the percent of people that buy 2K. Is there somewhere to uh find that? They be white with black my players living out their fantasy. Oh, you tripping, bro. How do you get so much followers and viewers? I'm one of the funniest of all time, and um, I'm amazing. <coughs> Gamer, thanks for the follow. 
style is, but the simplicity is kind of boring. It's just a game cover, so it doesn't really matter, and most people seem to buy digital copies of games anyways, but I thought it was worth pointing out. It sucks to see, but the days mm -hmm. of owning physical media seem to be dwindling. Subscriptions and renting are being pushed more than ever. Companies want you to pay forever while owning nothing. It mm. happened to music, it happened to TV and movies, and soon it's going to happen to video games. Oh, God damn! Oh, he done brought up the music industry, the TV industry? I'll be trying to tell you we're cooked. Don't be surprised if 2K becomes a subscription in the future where you get access to the latest 2K with the latest rosters for as long as you're subscribed. Oh, and if good. you unsubscribe, you lose access to the game. Oh, I think that is coming in the near- Bro, y'all hear what this thing is? Hey, he read the future. It's gonna be like Spotify. He know that real. We're cooked. We gotta fight back. We gotta attack. Your future, but it's just a guess. I've actually beat someone. We have tonight. no gameplay footage as of right now, yet 2K is asking for pre-orders. You can buy this game that you know nothing about right now for its full price. The lack of competition in sports gaming brought us to this point. If people are going Thanks. to buy NBA 2K25, no matter how good or bad it is, just because it's the new NBA game, yep. then 2K has no reason to actually try. Yep. That's why I believe EA... Man, I miss these NBA Street games, bro. Y'all see this? It was so fun. I wonder why they stopped making them. I guess people wasn't really messing with them. That could be the only reason why. It's crazy. Remember getting the game breaker, the music. Needs to bring back NBA Street. NBA Live would not sell well enough to compete with 2K, but NBA Street might. It's an no. iconic name and the arcade leaning streetball. No, 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 soft drink, soft drink. Look, I'm telling you, bro. There's a reason they stopped the NBA Street. It can't compete. No one likes that arcade shit like that, bro. Like it, it was fun back in the day and shit, bro. They've tried it with the NBA Jam. Nobody with that shit. Why that shit? It, it can't compete. NBA Live can't compete. The only way to destroy 2K and ruin the business model. Billion dollar idea. You about to hear it. Billion dollar idea, money. Billion. You make your gameplay 2K14 or like 2K15 or like 2K16 or 2K17 or 2K19, you destroy 2K. You destroy 2K. Though. Make NBA Street, it's not, no, bro. That's not it. The, the, the arcade, it, that, it's, that's not like the NCAA. It's, it's not, nobody put that arcade, those realistic 2Ks I'm talking about that are viewed as arcade 2Ks. They're not even arcade 2Ks. They more realistic than all this new Sean Moses and no one will debate it live. I'm telling you, that's how another game can come up and destroy the market it's the only way people the the people so out of touch not in the community they don't understand they think people are just saying you want an arcade 2k and then when they think of arcade they think of this stupid like nba street and nba jam they think we want to play that no we want to play those games we're referring to right but they don't know that that's why i keep telling people stop repping arcade you idiot do you want to play FIA Jam and dunk from full court? No. Are you repping arcade? Think. People don't think. They're everyone just group think bots, NPCs. When you say arcade, what games are available at an arcade? Think, bro. You're shooting full court dummy shots. That's that's what you're saying when you're hey, with the arcade game. Think, bro. Dunking through five people from the half court line. That's what they're thinking, bro. Use your head, bro. Say specifically the games that you want. More skill board based games like these 2K. Don't say I want an arcade. Stop saying arcade. NPCs, bro. Robots. Gameplay would translate well to modern online game. Competing with 2K's online park and my team modes with less of a grind and less monetization overall could make EA a ton of money and win over the popular opinion and in return for this would still be great to have but the the real game is the is the is what what i mentioned first 2k to try much harder 2k 15 was way more realistic than 24 on oh god and no one will debate it live easy you feel me they they won't debate it live <laughs> no one anyone you could be a complete random i will body we know 2k25 will have four editions and the hall of fame edition will have vince carter on the cover the hall of fame edition does include league pass still which somewhat helps justify its price no it doesn't the game will release on september 6th. guys if you ever need any nba games just join my discord i get you them. league pass is horrible you, you're wasting it you can see max quality it ain't lagging sixth and i will be reviewing it shortly after dkm the game is still releasing follow. on old gen consoles which is likely holding back gameplay and graphical improvements for all versions Thanks. college football 25 was a good game in part because the dev team only had to focus on getting the game running on next gen hardware mm. they didn't need to waste time and money on the old gen game 
Bro, did they only release college football on new gen? That's dope as hell. Nah, but something that's scary is what if 2K copies this? Yes, for free. I'll give you the link to any game. All you gotta do is join my Discord, exclamation Discord. Anything you wanna watch, any movie, whatever. All you gotta do is hit me up. But uh, what's scary about college football, bro, is what if 2K copies and they make college basketball, they finally give us the gameplay we've been craving. And you know what's so scary about that? Then they can release three games every year or maybe even four games isn't that scary and everyone's gonna buy it think about they finally give us 16 15 14 gameplay and then they make an old gen version for that and then they still do the normal 2k new and old gen version and then they just release it like a couple months early isn't that crazy like they could do us bad bruh you know if i had power like in, in that 2K world and I knew all this, I'd be able to get over on you, Nick. Crazy. They don't even know about this. The 2K, they don't even know they could do this. They they don't even know that they could do this. Billion dollar idea. They, they don't even know. Ain't that crazy? And that made the final product better. The only reason 2K still releases for the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch is so that they can make money off of VC purchases from those in older hardware. Yep. Nothing new is added to these versions beyond rosters and logos. Good news, mm -hmm. the PC Copy version base. of 2K25 is the next gen version, finally. So now modders will finally have access to the best version of the game. That might be the best be version to get as the graphics and lighting can be drastically improved with mods. Look how beautiful this look. Guys, 2K announced a It's not the best version to get. Do not buy 2K on PC. They do not have no anti-cheat. Unless you're going to be playing by yourself, don't buy it on PC. If you're going to play by yourself, do the PC sh but if you're not, get it on console. Chubbs, I'm live. Shut up. Come to the Twitch. You over here crying. Say hi, Swante. Sixth era for the My Era's mode, a more compact and interactive city, and new pro play technology driving gameplay. That is essentially everything new announced for this game. A sixth era is unnecessary in my opinion. This is the third year of the My Era mode. We should be able to start from any year, not an era. Hopefully the new era is during the 50s or 60s with a black and white film grain presentation style, similar to what we saw in NBA 2K12. Yo, yo, this Madden drops today? Wait, does it? Cause I bought it. I bought the uh, NCAA and the Madden version. When does it drop today? Chubbs, if I'm reacting to a video, how can I respond to you, bro? Just type and say, hey, I'm reading multiple chats. What's good, Ty? Like I'm going on full on rants, like just type again. But my boy, my boy wants this to be in 2K. <laughs> he wanted black and white and uh, blurry as hell. Y'all want this shit? <laughs> Said hopefully it's in the 1950s. <laughs> oh man, that would be funny. I would actually want to see this. I would love to see, cause y'all remember when they did the older, uh, whatever they released, it was blurry as hell when you like played it. That was funny as hell. That would be so funny. Oh man, that's gonna be so. But to truly innovate, being able to choose any starting year from 1960 to present day would be ideal. A more compact city sounds good in theory, and hopefully it being uh -huh. smaller would open up resources for the rest of the game, such as for things like graphics or gameplay. But uh -huh. from early screenshots, the game looks no better than 2K24, which looks no better than 2K23, mm. which looks no better than 2K22, mm. which looks no better than 2K21. <laughs> we have nine screenshots available for 2K25 right now. The Here's the first one. Jason Tatum looks fine, but this doesn't look any different from 2K24 to me, besides the jersey patch being updated, which has nothing to do with graphics. The way the jersey folds still looks jagged, and the lighting seems flat and dull. Damn. The lighting looks the same as always. Now we get a look at Vince Carter, the other cover athlete. Damn. This looks terrible to me. He just doesn't look right. If you told me this was a screenshot from NBA 2K19, I would believe you. This picture of Shea looks alright, his face is shiny, he is in fact sweating, we all know 2K loves sweat. But he looked just as sweaty Pause. last year. The jersey lighting looks dull as always. Here's Wemby. Looks like the last five 2Ks to me. Here's Tatum again. His biceps are apparently true to life now, where before he just had generic biceps. Nice. Another look at Vince. Another look at Wemby. Another look at Shea. Here's Ajo Wilson, cover athlete of the WNBA edition of the game. This is supposed to show her signature rolled jersey style. But when looking at a picture in real- They say this is the best WNBA player ever life side by side, it's clear just how bad the graphics are on modern 2K. Damn. The jersey looks like CGI from the first Shrek movie. It doesn't have the right lighting or wrinkles or folds or shine. How does Buddy remember CGI from the first Shrek movie? Is that like notoriously known for bad graphics or something? What do you mean, bro? He look aged and this is a female. What are you talking about? She looked like Sid? 
you would expect in a 2024 video game. College Football 25 has much better jersey graphics, even though it's a football mm. game. And pretty much any modern game will have better looking clothing textures than 2K. Damn. Here's some clips from NBA 2K19. Is it just me, or does this look almost identical to 2K25? Damn. This footage is so old, it has Ben Simmons scoring in it. Here's 2K20. <laughs> Bro, he was flaming. Bro, he flaming calmly. He said it's so old that it had Ben Simmons scoring in it. I love the white boy roast. Oh, God. This looks better than 2K24 or the screenshots from 2K25. 2K25 certainly doesn't look better than this, and this is a four year old game. Graphics are not as important as gameplay. I understand that but I really feel like 2K needs to step it up in both areas. Mm. And if keeping the city in the game and releasing old gen versions is holding the main game back, mm. then 2K needs to make some serious changes. Yeah. The new pro play gameplay is, according to 2K, immersive technology that directly translates NBA footage into engaging gameplay. Yeah. Get up close and personal with your favorite NBA superstars and immerse yeah. yourself in clutch moments as pro play powers the most authentic NBA experience to date. Sounds yeah. like what they say every year. We need to see gameplay footage. Why would anyone nice. pre-order this game right now? I used to really enjoy playing 2K, and even in recent years, I always appreciated how the series took franchise mode more seriously than EA did. During mm. the late 2010s, 2K was head and shoulders above all other sports games. But what have they really oh. done since then? The gap is closing, and 2K is getting worse instead of getting better. I barely played NBA 2K24, because the online modes require a grind or more money and the offline modes were barely any different than 2K23, and the on-court experience didn't feel any better. Will 2K give me a reason to play NBA 2K25? No. So far, they've shown us that Tatum has more realistic biceps. I'm gonna need to see more than that. NBA 2K doesn't feel fresh anymore. It feels too familiar, and it mm. no longer feels worth $70. Yeah. I hope that changes. He say it's not worth $70, and he don't even know that like the average be spending like 400 the average person be spending like 300 through like 700 a year soon ea release he said it's not worth 70 but people like the majority that be playing online we be spending 300 plus easy we be spending that day one he's saying it's not worth 70. he probably don't even know that a build is a hundred dollars I don't know if he know that or not, though. It's a new NBA street. And it used to be 150 a bill. That is our best hope for competition in this space anytime soon. W video, man. W video. W video, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.